Let's spend a few minutes thinking about a key concept, disinflation. So what is disinflation? Well, it's a slowdown or a fall in the rate at which prices of goods and services are increasing. So consumer prices are still going up, albeit more slowly. And this fall in inflation may be temporary in nature. Now, how does disinflation differ from deflation? Two key concepts here, often confused by students. Well, disinflation is when prices are still rising, but more slowly. The rate of inflation comes down, uh, let's say from 5% to 2%. Whereas deflation is a sustained fall in the general price level. The rate of inflation becomes negative. So what might cause a period of disinflation? Well, several causes, but typically most of them relate to a slowdown or possible recession in the wider economy, which then dampens down or reduces demand pull inflationary pressures. Now, that slowdown in aggregate demand can have many causes, one of which could be the central bank deciding to increase their interest rates to tighten monetary policy. And also an appreciation of the exchange rate, a stronger currency can cause disinflation because it reduces the cost of the things we have to import. Remember the acronym, SPICED, strong pound, imports cheaper, exports dearer. And disinflation may have some external causes as well. For example, a reduction in the global, the world price for key inputs such as crude oil, natural gas, copper, zinc and so on. Disinflation is a normal part of the economic cycle and it tends to happen, or always what tends to happen, after periods of rising inflation, as indeed we have seen in the world economy during 2022. Are there signs of disinflation in the UK? Well, I think we'll probably see more signs in 2023, but here's the chart for inflation. You can see that inflation's deviated sharply from the 2% target since 2021, and it peaked, well, we think it may have peaked at about 11% in October 2022, with just a sign of a dip there. So if in 2023 the rate of inflation comes down from, let's say, 11% to 7%, that would be disinflation, although 7% inflation is still high. Partly this is a result of what the central bank has been doing to interest rates. They've gone up from 0.1% during the pandemic to 3.5% now, December 2022, uh, that's a, a nine, uh, nine times the Bank of England has increased interest rates at their meetings. So higher interest rates is designed to slow down the economy and, and bring down the rate of inflation over time. Um, this, this inflation might help to limit real wage declines. Follow the orange line here, that shows inflation on its way up to 11%. The blue line shows the rate of growth of wages... That's gone up to about 6% in the last couple of years. But now inflation outpacing wage growth, uh, let's say inflation's 11% and wages are rising by 6%, that implies a 5% reduction in real wages. So hopefully disinflation in 2023 will help to bring down uh, the pressure, if you like, on real wages. It will help to limit the extent to which people suffer real wage cuts in their jobs. Thanks for joining in. Take care and see you soon.